So week three, optimization stage three, make sure to begin posting on your Google business profile. This is a huge mistake that most of the SEOs and most of the local SEOs persons are making. Um, I noticed that uh, the majority of the business profile owners are not posting at all. They are not leveraging at all the GBP post uh, feature. And I also recommend you that you start posting long form content because if you are posting less than 150 to 220 to 220 uh, words within your Google business post, you won't get any link juice, AKA Google is not going to indexing such Google business profile, such uh, GBP post, excuse me. So make sure to begin posting on your Google business profile in which way I recommend that you start mirroring and rephrasing the content on uh, each page of your website. You can utilize the prompts uh, that I provided here and that once you have been mirroring and rephrasing the content of each page, of course, you need to link back each GBP post to its related pages using the book now or learn more CTA button. Okay. Okay. Just let me give you an example. Uh, you need uh, to be sure that you are targeting the right keywords. So, if you are a GMB crush user, you can simply access the King Kong Power GB, GMB GBP post training. Here, guys and girls, you can really, really find advanced uh, GBP posting uh, SEO details on how to craft the best GMB uh, post for your Google business profile or the business profile of your clients. I will show you how you can force Google to accept the uh, markdown language within the GMB post. So um, I will also additionally um, show you the importance of highlighting specific uh, type of uh, uh, related keywords within the content post and how you can leverage Google business post to mirroring and rephrasing part of your website content, linking back each GBP post to that specific piece of content. Okay using the learn more or the book now CTA button. Okay. Why you should be choosing the book now or the learn more CTA button? Because both of them, they will provide you with a valuable do follow link. So I do recommend that you using these two calls to actions within your GMB post. 150 to 200 words. You can watch the, the King Kong power training. You will learn how to um, insert uh, Unicode characters within your uh, GMB post. And uh, don't forget to always link back each GBP post to its related pages. Okay. Here, yeah, if you need additional details about uh, the GBP post prompts, that I'm personally using and I have also selected for all of you. You can watch this video. If you want to grab more details about the right GBP post mirroring strategy, you can access the King Kong Power GMB GBP post video course. Then uh, start adding at least a couple of questions and answers per week to your uh, Google business profile and ensure that your content fully reflects the details on your website. As the owner or manager of the Google business profile, you can post questions and answer on your own. Okay. So you can simply open up the Q and a section. You can click ask a question. You can post your own question and you can additionally reply. Okay. I will show you soon. How you can create content at scale using the, the free, um, the free uh, GMB Crush AI Chrome Assistant, so stick with me. Let's go back to the optimization plan. As I said before, start adding at least a couple of question and answer per week. Okay, super important. You can post question and answer on your own. And uh, remember to include the, the Google Business Profile information NAP in your answers. So you can click to post a question you can reply to the, the question with your own answer 
at, at the answer, at the end of your own answer, you can insert uh, again for data consistency, your uh, NAP details, company name, address and phone number in your answers. Let's move into the next chapters, which is uh, discussing about capturing a few pictures related to your company using your mobile device. So why? Uh, check if your mobile device includes location data for the pictures. This is the main reason why I'm suggesting this to you. And the reason is pretty simple because if you enable your device to include the location data for the picture, you can start uploading a couple of company related pictures directly, directly from the phone. Of course, team, company members that work, as I say before, company offers, um, company office, excuse me, near, nearby streets, uh, close to the business location and etc. And if you provide on-site services, uh, ask a couple of lawyer clients whom you already serve to add some uh, pictures to your business profile as this will send positive engage en engagement signals to Google, okay? Um, anyone can go to your business profile and click add photos. And as you can see, you know, they can add photo, they can publish receive an additional uh, notification through your uh, through the Gmail address that it's connected as owner or as a manager via the Google business profile. All right. So this is super important, especially, you know, if you are receiving, uh, um, if you are providing on site services and you are receiving from your local uh, from your loyal clients, uh, pictures if the your loyal clients or clients are uh, uploading pictures by themselves that they took directly from their own phone this is going to uh, feed the google maps algorithm with the right uh, location data signals and google will start to um, stretch your uh, proximity filters and start showing up slowly and steadily your uh, GBP uh, listing for multiple keywords across uh, several locations. Okay, super important that right after you are you have been collecting, uh, you know, steadily and uh, in a very stable way more uh, photos by uploading pictures uh, by yourself or by engaging with clients, asking them to upload a picture to your business profile that you start collecting reviews, okay? Ask your clients to go Google search, type your company name, followed by locations, for example, find your business profile, click on it and leave a review along with the photo, okay? So if uh, a user leaves a review along with the photo, this is going to be more powerful than just getting a single review. So if possible, in an, an ideal scenario, the review should always include the photo and details about the service performed in relation to your primary and additional business category. This is make a lot of sense. And if you really think how you would describe your experience uh, for, a, for a specific local business, of course, you, are going, you, you will most likely mentioning your experience uh, for a specific type of services in relation to the primary or the additional business category to the location served and additional feedback about the quality and so on. Cheers.